Hello everyone. Now, in, in my previous video, I showed you how to do sign up. Now I will show how to do login and go to the profile page. So this will be pretty much similar. We have already done our basic uh, pages in API. So we will be using host data again for the login screen. So this is same. And in login screen, we have uh, one more method called a show message and this one is for snack bar if we have any uh, error then we will, uh, from the server then we will show it in this uh, in this method or sorry in this uh, snack bar so we do have the basic same basic setup like uh, sign up okay now let's take the uh, boolean again here as well Here we will show different text. I don't know what uh, could be the better text. You can put anything, but it looks really nice to me. And here as well, instead of a uh, simple one, you can do the uh, null and then login because uh, otherwise, if the user will be able to click multiple times, so we should block the multiple time here in this button we don't have uh, here missing one thing which is disable color we will not be able to see the disable color if we don't do the disable color here okay nice this will be again set state v is loading equal true now for my data our API expect email main controller dot text and password Our login API is this one, so just use it here. Variable loading equal just some dot decode press dot body. We should import this dot convert. Now, if we do print body we will see the response sent by server so we actually got the message success false message invalid so after everything is done, we should make it back to false. And now we should call our show message method here. So we can write if body um, success. login is successful or here we will do we will show the message and message will be and the message is sent from the server so we will use 
server message. Yep. Look at that. So invalid email or password. We have these things. Now let uh, let's try to do some DL email and password. Let's see if I have one. Okay, so that means login is successful, and we have also back uh, token similar token user and also the user. So what we will do is we will do the similar thing like we did in sign up. So we can use the shared preferences and we can just copy our code from here so this will add our user token and user in the NASH local storage and we will be able to get get it get this data back in the home page so everything will work now Okay, so let's go, let's log in like this. You see, we are now logged in. Now, one more important thing is to do is uh, log out and the logical screen. So, if you are already logged in, then you will see this screen, and if you are not logged in, you will see the login screen. So, we will do that part as well. Now, Let's implement the logout functionality. Okay, so logout is in our home page. So we should go to the home screen and find out the logout. So here is the logout. Out. and this will be an async operation as well so what will happen it will first log out from the server and clear the user clear the token so this will this is what will happen so first let's log out from the server you see how it will be called API class now uh, let's see what our logout here logout is a get method and it expects some token so you have to send the token to the logout here so it is expecting some token if the token is not present then it will send this error so we have to implement the token now instead of sending a token like this for example let's say you were sending some data and then maybe you sending url like this uh, logout then token then your to all, all the token variable so in uh, you will require the token in a lot of uh, pages so we will try to do a very uh, smarter way to add the token if with every our uh, every request we send to the server so let's implement the token uh, idea in our uh, call api class so here we can call a white get token as well so it will be like
that case so here what we need to do we have to uh, get the to can right so we will input the shared preferences and Sorry, it will be async. I imported it multiple times. Okay, so it will be at least local storage dot get stream to can. And let's save it in a variable called to can. Now, what we need to do is we need to return something like this to can equal to can so what will happen is that um, our full URL will change now okay so now in every request the token is automatically added okay now if I do print here full URL you will understand what I'm actually trying to do or maybe do it in yeah it is in get data uh, the API is get request so let's do it uh, test it in get get data and all we need to do is provide our API nothing else Okay, now we will see the full URL here. Let's test the URL sent to the server. Okay, first of all, we need to log in. Though we are already logged in, so that is one of the stupid things here. Let's clear it. Look at that so this is our full url api logout token so this token is automatically added into the request awesome okay so yeah it is working now you can call these things from anywhere in your application because if your uh, application is dynamic and require a lot of uh, backend transactions so you will require these things and also you will require heavy um, JSON serialization and you should be using automated JSON serialization okay now what should I do is I have logged out here and if I am I'm logged out what data I am sent uh, okay so user is logged out successfully so this message is sent let's get this message in the table body okay, send the code rest of body now if I do print body There it is. Okay, so let's remove this login from login screen. Yep, we are now logged out. It is working nicely. Now, let's see if would be success. Then we will clear the user and also we will clear the uh, token as well so let's get this shared preferences so local storage dot remove 
user local storage dot remove token so first we remove the token from the server and from the local storage nice okay so now we are logged out so once we are logged out what we will do is we will send the user back to login screen so I hope this will work now okay now log is logging I'm really sorry for my bad English and uh, maybe uh, some st stupid noise from the keyboard now uh, let log that log out perfect now we are logged out okay in my next video i will show you how to do logical uh, showing of login and home screen so if you are logged in you will see lo home screen or otherwise you will see lo uh, login screen okay see you in, uh, in my next video please like subscribe and also give me uh, more suggestions that how can i improve my tutorials and how can i also improve my language so give me all kind of suggestion you have in your mind and also uh, give me your uh, comment your uh, coding styles if you have better idea how i implemented um, if i did anything wrong so you can sh you could share your own idea we will we will keep learning okay happy learning flutter have a nice time